My apologies, but I am not in the mood for visitors. Not after the debacle that was my last auction. Stolen from by my own valet. Bitten by the viper I nursed in my bosom. Oh, the indignity. Oh, drama indeed. My name is Sherlock Holmes and I could help you get to the bottom of this. No, Sir Finley Lane. Philanthropist, industrialist, art collector. It is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I suppose I could use your help, if only to confirm my suspicions about Vincent. What happened at the auction? I intended to sell the gem of my collection, Cordona Cypresses, to fund an orphanage. God knows we need to take some of these poor waifs off the streets. To entertain my guests before the bidding, I arranged a magic show. When it was over, I went upstairs to the gallery, and it was gone. The Cypresses were gone! Could you tell me more about Vincent? <laughs> a scoundrel with one leg and two faces. He's been my valet for a dozen years. Who would have thought that he would stoop so low as to steal from me? Vincent has only one leg. He lost his right leg in the Crimean War, but despite his age and his peg leg, he is actually quite spry on his feet, uh, on his foot. I took him in, gave him a job, and this is how he repays me. So you suspect your valet of stealing the painting? There's no one else to suspect. He's the only person other than myself who was upstairs that day. He had asked for a day off only the night before, so I was a little surprised when he came here just before the auction. Did he tell you why? Something about a damaged wallpaper roll. I'm refurbishing some rooms, you see, but that's his job. I, I don't bother myself too much with the details. I'd like to take a look upstairs where the burglary took place. Well, mm, you look like a decent man, Mr. Holmes. Here's the key to my gallery. It's the only copy, so please don't lose it. <lacht> Sie sehen anständig aus. Ich habe einfach so ein Verbrecher-Outfit an. Danke. Nice. Pretty big for an orphanage. An ambitious project. These must be the names of the contributors. These are real sweet-smelling oranges, not props. Secret compartments are hidden amongst the fake foliage. Nothing but a clever illusion. There are traces of concealer on the rim. Pushing this button makes the oranges grow within seconds. The next lot is Sherlock's Unmentionables. Do I hear 500 pounds? Yes. 200. Yes, I take it. So fiddly. Oh, someone spilled the paint. Mind your step, Sherry. Right, footprint size nine. Fella's only got one leg. Can't blame him. The paint splatters on the plank and floor don't match up. If it were up to me, this renovation would have been much nicer. Leere Stelle, fehlende Tapetenrolle. Okay. Okay. 
Leichte Kratzer durch festen, flachen Gegenstand verursacht. The frame is intact. He took only the canvas. The ends in miner's end. The end of what? Of some miners, apparently. It doesn't matter who squeezes the oranges. What matters is who gets the juice. Cordona Cypresses, Angelo Cicchetti, 1840. Remember playing sardines as a kid, squeezed into tight spots? This feels the same. <laughs> okay. Hello. Es ist hängen geblieben. Did your guests enjoy the show? Oh, yes. The amazing Alonso is well worth the money. The orange trick was nothing short of amazing. Everyone was completely enthralled. Alonso's Trick der wundersame Orangenbaum. Amazing Alonso verwendet eine spezielle Apparatur, um an einen kleinen Orangenbaum vor den Augen des Publikums Früchte wachsen zu lassen. Die Orangen sind in Geheimfächern zwischen den künstlichen Blättern des Baumes versteckt. Durch das Beste Betätigen eines verborgenen Schalters setzt der Zauberer den Mechanismus der Apparatur in Gang. Innerhalb von Sekunden scheinen dann zur Verblüffung aller die Orangen zu wachsen. Okay. Ja, jetzt bin ich ein bisschen überfragt. Was muss ich machen? Was soll ich machen? Blaue Farbrückstände. Lol, was? Wir wissen ja eigentlich schon, wer es war, ne? You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Okay, dann war es halt eine fremde Person. The thief entered the house, disguised as Vincent, removed his fake peg leg, and walked across the plank to the gallery where he stole the painting.
Your valet is innocent, Sir Finlay. In fact, he wasn't even here on the day of the auction. But I saw him with my own eyes. The man you saw was disguised as Vincent, with both his legs present and extremely capable. As you were engrossed in the show, he walked across a plank to the gallery right above your heads. An acrobatic feat of no mean proportions. My good old Vincent, in truth, I didn't doubt him for a second. Do you know who the brazen thief is? Not yet, Sir Finley, but rest assured I will find him. I would be much obliged if you'd recover my painting, too. Just think of all the urchins who would get a chance at honest work. All right, I'll do my best to return it to you. Good day. Also, eine Reihe von Hinweisen. Der Einbrecher hinterließ drei Hinweise. Vier Spielkarten auf dem Schminktisch, ein Ass, eine Acht, eine Sieben und eine Acht. Die Nachrichten, das Ende wartet in meiner Sand auf einem Spiegel. Eine Gärtnerverkleidung aus einem Kostümladen. Was soll mir das jetzt sagen? Ne? Was? Oh nun? Was should I do? Gimbels Kostümatelier. Gimbels Kostümatelier. Das Atelier befindet sich einst in der Copper. Äh, da, da, da. Es wurde 1878 eröffnet und musste noch im selben Jahr wegen Bankrott wieder schließen. Das Gebäude ist seitdem verlassen. Okay. Ja, wenn du mir in den Weg läufst. Ja. Ja. Ja, wie? You must be the amazing Alonso. Sir, if you want to book a show, unfortunately, that is not possible. All of my props have been confiscated until further notice. And if you are here to ask me about those burglaries, I have nothing to add to what I've already told the police. It wasn't me. Hey, 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 hey. Reine Gesichtshaut, falscher Schnurrbart. Das ist wahrscheinlich eine Frau, oder? Hemd bolt sich aus, zusammengebundene Brüste, ja. Lange, dünne Finger, weibliche Hände, ja. Of course. Fehlender Adamsapfel, natürlich. Die dünnen Finger sind nicht besonders auffällig, aber der falsche Schnurrbart hat sie eindeutig verraten. Ich kann mir vorstellen, dass es im von Männern dominierten 19. Jahrhundert nicht leicht ist, als Zauberkünstlerin ernst genommen zu werden. Dass sie Karriere machen will, kann ich ihr nicht vorwerfen. Sich als Mann zu verkleiden ist kein Verbrechen und ich habe keine stichhaltigen Beweise für, dass Amazing Alonso hinter den Einbrüchen steckt. Ich sollte mir anhören, was die Frau zu sagen hat. Ich finde nicht, dass sie verdächtig ist. I'm investigating the burglaries in Grand Saray. The clues led me to this atelier, but I did not expect to see you here. Someone has clearly been playing tricks on you. Cruel tricks. It's good to know that you're on my side. I'm here seeking answers the same as you. The person behind this knows my tricks well. So well that it's uncanny. The thing is, I used to practice here back when the atelier was in business. Some of my props are still in the basement. And the answers are too, I think. What are you waiting for then? Look around you. This neighborhood is a criminal's paradise. The building is overrun by bandits. What should I tell them? Don't mind me, fellas. I'll be in and out. Let me compliment you on your disguise. Especially the mustache. Thank you kindly. I wouldn't call it a disguise, though. Alonso is my stage persona. But the mustache is indeed fake. Guilty as charged. Mine is a slow grower. Miss, please. I can see that you're a woman. Very well, I am a woman. So what? I've learned all my own tricks. I want to be taken seriously, rather than as someone's jumped up assistant. Do you really think that if I didn't put on this act, I'd bask in the glory of being the world's first female magician? Actually, that sounds quite plausible. Huh, that's easy for you to say. Sometimes, if we want to be true to ourselves, we have to pretend to be someone else. My friend told me this once, and I think that he's right. It strikes me as rather dubious reasoning. Who is this friend of yours? A close friend, who recently arrived from France. 
Let's leave it at that. You may have exposed me, but I simply don't see how my personal life is relevant. Fine. I'll go inside and see if I can find something. Don't go anywhere. Captain! Dun 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 dun. I know. Hello. Hey! I couldn't miss the party. Too simple. Don't cry, you'll live. Ja, es war ein Versehen, ey. Wir hantieren hier mit echten Waffen. Willst du nachladen, oder? Give him the pepper snuff. No more crime for you until next month. I will end you. Ich bin weggerollt. Perfekt, die sind hängen geblieben. Boys. Now, go for it. It's time to knock this guy out. I couldn't miss the party. Don't bother moving. The snuff's ready. Tja, da hat uns ein Bakwohl gerettet. Versehen, Mann! Toll. Ja. ja, bin ich auch. Tut mir echt leid. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the pepper snuff. Der tut mir leid. Äh ja, tut tut mir wirklich leid. I'm sorry. Upsi, dupsi, upsi, schwupsi, dupsi, dupsi, upsi, wupsi, dupsi, schwupsi. So little light for these little fellas. Schon, du machst mehr Angst.
The saw was tested on different materials, most meticulous. Timed to perfection. The same oranges as we saw at Lane's house. These must be the diagrams of all the magic tricks in the amazing Alonzo's arsenal. You're getting warmer, Mr. Sholmes. Sholmes? Warmer still. Join me at the fireplace. Brief an Herlock Sholmes. <lacht> Werter Herlock Sholmes. Ich gehe stark davon aus, dass Sie derjenige sind, der diesen Brief lesen wird. Ich wüsste sonst niemanden, der in der Lage wäre, den Hinweisen erfolgreich nachzugehen. Die Polizei erweist sich zwar nirgendwo auf der Welt als besonders kompetent, aber auf dieser Insel gibt sie ein besonders jämmerliches Bild ab. Gewiss können Sie sich vorstellen, wie positiv überrascht ich war, als ich von Ihnen hörte. Von einem Diamanten in einem Misthaufen, von einem würdigen Gegner. Stehlen ist wie Zauberei. Auch ein Dieb verlässt sich auf seine Repertoire an Tricks, um die Menschen zu täuschen. Alonso ist eine gute Zauberkünstlerin, aber die beste ist sie nicht, denn ich bin in diesem... Ich bin in diesem Metier unübertroffen. Ihr richtiger Name lautet übrigens Melinda. Wie alles auf dieser Insel begann, mich auch unsere Liebschaft zu langweilen. Daher beschloss ich, mich noch ein letztes Mal mit ein paar Tricks zu amüsieren und dann die Insel zu verlassen. Falls Sie das hier lesen, bin ich bereits fort, aber Ihre Mühen sollen dennoch nicht vergebens sein. Ich muss zugeben, dass Sie mir weisen Kinder sehr am Herzen liegen. Daher überlasse ich Ihnen das Gemälde und hoffe, dass Sie damit Gutes getan wird. Au revoir, Monsieur Sholmes. Ich hoffe, dass sich unsere Wege eines Tages wieder kreuzen werden. Arsene Lupin. Warmer still. Join me at the fireplace. Dr. Claw has escaped, Inspector. Cordona cypresses and a bonus wallpaper roll. So, what did you find? You won't like what I have to say, but you deserve to know. Your French friend, Arsène Lupin, used this place as a hideout. No, no that can't be true. He, he's staying at Il Palazzo del Luce. He's there at this minute. But how do you know his name? It is my business to know things, miss. He is the thief. This was all some twisted joke to him. No, th this is just... Th this can't. He was the only one who understood me. He said that he loved me. I don't believe that you'll ever see him again. He has slipped away from the island. Good riddance to him, then. All men are the same, aren't they? They come and go, leaving nothing behind but lice. Well, he also left the stolen painting. It would be best if you return the painting to its rightful owner, Sir Finley Lane. You will clear your name and he will build his orphanage. You are right. I will do that. I never asked your name. It's Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. I am Melinda Teller. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You're welcome, Miss Teller. Good luck. Mm -hmm. 